Hello guys, um, welcome to our class for today. For today's class, we'll be looking at galvanometer and its conversion. Okay, so we'll be looking at conversion of galvanometer to ammeters for this particular class. Alright, so please um, get your writing materials ready so that we can go straight to our class for today. This is No My Science Tutors Online and um, I'm your online instructor. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video, YouTube will notify you. You can reach us via the WhatsApp now that is showing right on your screen and uh, place your comments on the comment section. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up so that you can continue to encourage us. Alright, so thank you so much. Welcome to our class. We are looking at conversion of galvanometers. Okay, so the class for today is galvanometer conversion using a shunt. Alright, so if you are ready, please let us go straight. So, as I have said before, we are discussing galvanometer. And then we're looking at how you can convert a galvanometer to an ammeter. Right? This topic is very key and is very, very important. And I want you to pay attention as we go through the solving of some problems on this particular topic. Because if you go and check your password questions and jam, you see a lot of questions on this particular topic. This topic and the next one that we're going to treat. They are very, very important and uh, we we'll try as much as possible to break it down so that you can have a thorough understanding of it. So please pay right attention as we go through this particular topic, especially the calculation aspect of it. All right. So um, what is a galvanometer? A galvanometer simply is an instrument that is used to measure current. So in your laboratory, you can have a... Uh, you see a galvanometer. It is mostly used in uh, physics particles. You know, when you want to carry particles in electricity, you use galvanometer to measure current. But in most cases, you can actually use a galvanometer to measure very, very small currents, right? And then you can also use it to measure um, um, to measure uh, voltage or EMF across the cell, as the case may be, depending on what you connect to the galvanometer okay so a galvanometer is a device that is used to measure current now how do you convert a galvanometer to read to work as an ammeter so for you to convert a galvanometer to an ammeter you connect what is called a shunt you connect a shunt Okay, so a shunt is a low resistance, is a low, is a low resistance uh, uh, ammeter, or is a low resistance uh, uh, external resistor. Fine, it is a low resistance external resistor that is connected in parallel with the galvanometer. So take note that a shunt is normally connected in parallel to the galvanometer. So it is a low resistance uh, resistor that is connected in parallel with the galvanometer. So what does this low resistance, uh, this low resistance resistor does? What it does is that it takes a large part of the current that is flowing into the circuit so that a very small current can pass through the galvanometer. So that's what is so assuming this is a setup and then this is the current of the circuit, the shunt will take a large part of the current so that it's small will go through the galvanometer. So from this setup, this is the current that is flowing into the setup. Then this is the galvanometer current. Then the shunt current, which is this, is equals to the total current minus the galvanometer current. Okay, then this is the internal resistance of the galvanometer. And this external resistor that is called a shunt has its own uh, resistance too. But as I said, the resistance of this external resistor is very low. 
so the shown is a low resistance resistor that is connected in parallel to the galvanometer so that it can take a large part of the current that is coming to the system then allow a very small current to flow into the galvanometer all right so this is how to convert a galvanometer to an ammeter so conversion of a galvanometer to an ammeter requires connection of a low resistance shunt in parallel with the galvanometer a low resistance shot in parallel with the galvanometer all right so let's see some equations that we need to in order for you to solve some problems all right so from our previous definition of uh, potential difference potential difference equals to current through a device multiplied by the resistance okay so we have seen from our diagram that um, the current through the current through the shunt which is the external resistor the current through this shunt is then this is your i and then this is the current through the Galvanometer. This is your shunt, and that's your internal resistance. So the current through the shunt is equal to the overall current minus the current through the galvanometer, and that's what we we'll have here. So if that is the case, then we have that the potential difference across this shunt is equal to the current through the shunt multiplied by the resistance of the shunt, which is equals to this multiplied by this then the current through the potential difference across the galvanometer is equals to current through the galvanometer times the, the resistance of the galvanometer which is this okay now since the galvanometer addition are connected in parallel it means that it is the same potential difference that they have okay so their potential difference is the same okay so we can now write that potential difference across shunt is equal to potential difference across the galvanometer and that gives us this is equal to this remember these two okay so if you do your working and make arrow the subject of the formula arrow is the resistance of the shunt so most your calculations that you will do that has to do with um, conversion of a galvanometer to ammeter using a shunt is that you'll be looking for the resistance of the shunt and don't forget that the shunt is a low resistant uh, is a low resistant resistor okay so if you make arrow the subject of your formula you will now have the arrow which is resistance of the shunt is equal to current through the galvanometer multiplied by the internal resistance of the galvanometer all over the current tradition all over the current tradition remember that the current tradition is what well, total current minus current through the galvanometer so this equation is very very important this equation for you to find the resistance of your shunt then assuming you are asked to find the galvanometer current we have said that remember this equation okay remember that equation all right so now we want to make the galvanometer current the subject of the formula is that okay so by the time you do this multiplication out you can actually collect like terms like this so when you collect that you cannot be able to isolate the galvanometer current right so that you have i arrow is equals to galvanometer current multiply by resistance of shunt plus internal resistance of the galvanometer so if you make that the subject of the formula galvanometer current will now become so current all over resistance of shunt all over this plus this so these equations these two equations are very important 
as a jam student you should know them offhand so that when you see some question you don't need to go too far just code the formula and then apply it and you're done all right so having this said let's solve some problems right away Okay, so this is a sample question. A galvanometer of resistance 5 ohm gives a full scale deflection when a current of 50 milliamp flows through it. How will you convert it to an ammeter capable of reading 2 amps? Okay, so in this particular question, you are giving um, the you are giving a galvanometer resistance to be equals to 5 ohm. You are giving the the galvanometer current to be this is the galvanometer current, right? To be 50 milliamp. So this you can convert to amp by dividing it by 1,000, so that this will now give us 0.05. Um, then the current that the ammeter should read is equals to 2 amp. Short resistance is what we are looking for. So having written this, we can write our formula down and arrow short resistance is equals to Galvanometer current times galvanometer resistance all over shunt current. And shunt current is total current minus galvanometer current. Know that for you to convert a galvanometer to an ammeter, you have to connect a shunt in parallel to the galvanometer. So when they say, How will you convert it to an ammeter? You will convert it to an ammeter by convert by connecting a shunt in parallel to the galvanometer. That is just the answer. You can get that kind of question in objective physics, right? Okay, so the resistance of the shunt is what you now look for. See, you connect a resistance, a resistance, a shunt of social resistance in parallel to the galvanometer. So if you substitute all these all these values into this equation, you are going to have that. Galvanometer current is 0.05 multiplied by the galvanometer resistance all over the short current, which is equals to the current that is to be measured by the ammeter minus the galvanometer current. Okay, so if you do that, your answer will come out uh, readily. So that gives us um, 0 0.05 times um, that will give us 0 0.25 all over 1.95 okay so by the time you multiply this out you have your shunt current to your shunt resistance to be this low resistance shunt. Okay, so from here you can actually see that uh, the resistance of the shunt is low, right? It is even lower than the resistance of the galvanometer. All right, it is even lower than the resistance of the galvanometer. So this is how to apply this formula that we just discussed. Well, let's solve another problem. Okay, so this is another question. This one says that a galvanometer of resistance 5 ohm or 5.0 ohm has a full scale deflection for a current of 100 milliamp. How will this range be extended to 1.0 amp? Is the same question. How will you convert or how will you uh, use this galvanometer to measure a current up to 1.0 amp if the current that the galvanometer is supposed to take is 100 milliamp, which is 0.1 milliamp? 
how will you convert it to read up to 1.0 um so wish me that you have to connect a shunt a low resistance shunt in parallel to this galvanometer and it is the resistance of this shunt that we are going to look for okay so just as we did before that is what we are also going to do now so here you are be giving the resistance of the shunt to be 5.0 ohm You are giving galvanometer current to be 100 milliamp. So this is it, the same thing as 0 0.01 ampere. Uh, 0.1 amp. Because you are dividing by 1000. So that is 0 0.1 arm. Then the total current that you have to measure, which is your I, is equals 1.0 arm. So having gotten all this, the next thing you need to do now is to um, impute or write your equation. The arrow is equals to galvanometer current times use resistance divided by current through the shunt. Okay, so galvanometer current is 0 0.1 multiplied by the resistance which is 5 all over 1.0 minus 0 0.1. Okay, so you can work that out with your calculator if you wish. So if you work this out with your calculator, you have 0 0.5 all over 0 0.9. So if you multiply the two sides with 10, you are going to have 5 all over 9 as your shunt resistance 5 all over 9 as a shunt resistance or 0 0.56 ohm as the case may be so basically there's nothing much about this just understand that this is the equation to use and then this how to apply them very simple and straight to the point So please, I want you to solve this and try your hands on all that questions. Check your textbooks. We see so many questions on this. Try your hands on them and you see how you are progressing. Okay, so this is where we are ending this particular class. Before I leave, please subscribe to our channel. If you are just visiting, you are welcome to know my science tutors online. Subscribe to our channel, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and uh, invite your friends too so that they can come and enjoy what you are enjoying. Okay, reach us through the WhatsApp number that is on your screen. It's a brand new year, and we are wishing you the very best in your studies. Okay, so please just take your studies seriously and believe that God will bless your efforts. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and we hope to see you in our next class.